Buddhism in Japan has been practiced since its official introduction in 552 CE according to the Nihon Shoki from Baekje, Korea, by Buddhist monks. Buddhism has had a major influence on the development of Japanese society and remains an influential aspect of the culture to this day. In modern times, Japan's most popular schools of Buddhism are Pure Land Buddhism, Nichiren Buddhism, Shingon Buddhism, and Zen. As of 2008, approximately 34% of the Japanese identify as Buddhists, and the number has been growing since the 1980s, in terms of membership in organized religion. However, in terms of practice, 75% practice some form of Buddhism compared with 90% practicing Shinto, thus most Japanese practice both religions to some extent About 60% of the Japanese have a Butsudan Buddhist shrine in their homes. History of Japanese Buddhism Arrival of Buddhism in China along the Silk Road The arrival of Buddhism in China is ultimately a consequence of the first contacts between China and Central Asia, where Buddhism had spread from the Indian subcontinent. These contacts occurred with the opening of the Silk Road in the 2nd century BCE, following the travels of Zhang Qian between 138 and 126 BCE. These contacts culminated with the official introduction of Buddhism in China in 67 CE. Historians generally agree that by the middle of the 1st century, the religion had penetrated to areas north of the Wai River in China. <laughs> Kofun period According to the Book of Liang, which was written in 635, five Buddhist monks from Gandhara travelled to Japan in 467. At the time, they referred to Japan as Fusang Chinese, Fusang Japanese pronunciation, Fuso, the name of a mythological country to the extreme east beyond the sea. Fusang is located to the east of China, 20,000 li 1, km east of the state of Dahan, Dahan China, itself east of the state of Wa in modern Kansai region, Japan. In former times, the people of Fusing knew nothing of the Buddhist religion, but in the second year of Da Ming of the Song dynasty 467, five monks from Kippen Kabul region of Gandhara traveled by ship to Fusing. They propagated Buddhist doctrine, circulated scriptures and drawings, and advised the people to relinquish worldly attachments. As a result the customs of Fusing changed. Asuka period 538 to 710 and Nara period 710 to 794 Although there are records of Buddhist monks from China coming to Japan before the Asuka period the official Introduction of Buddhism to Japan is dated to 552 in Nihon Shoki when King Seong of Baekje, Sheng Ming Wang now Western Korea sent a mission to the Emperor Kinmei that included Buddhist monks or nuns together with an image of Buddha and a number of sutras to introduce Buddhism. The powerful Soga clan played a key role in the early spread of Buddhism in the country. Initial uptake of the new faith was slow, and Buddhism only started to spread some years later when Empress Suiko openly encouraged the acceptance of Buddhism among all Japanese people. According to legend, in Japan in 552, there was an attempt to destroy a tooth relic, one of the first of Buddhas to arrive in the country, it was hit by a hammer into an anvil, the hammer and anvil were destroyed but the tooth was not. On January 15, 593, Soga no Umako ordered relics of Buddha deposited inside the foundation stone under the pillar of a pagoda at Asuka Dera, in 607, in order to obtain copies of sutras, an imperial envoy was dispatched to Sui China. As time progressed and the number of Buddhist clergy increased, the offices of Sojo Archbishop and Sozu Bishop were created. By 627, there were 46 Buddhist temples, 816 Buddhist priests, and 569 Buddhist nuns in Japan. Six sects The initial period saw the six great Chinese schools, called Nanto Rokushu, Nando Lu Zong Lit, the six Nara sects in Japanese were introduced to the Japanese archipelago. Ritsu Vinaya focused Nikaya Buddhism. Jōjitsu a sect of Nikaya Buddhism Kusha Shu a Bidharma focused Nikaya Buddhism Sanranshu East Asian Madhyamaka 
Haso East Asian Yogacara. Kegon These schools were centered around the ancient capitals of Asuka and Nara, where great temples such as the Asuka Dera and Todaiji were erected respectively. These were not exclusive schools, and temples were apt to have scholars versed in several of the schools. It has been suggested that they can best be thought of as study groups. The Buddhism of these periods, known as the Asuka period and Nara period, was not a practical religion, being more the domain of learned priests whose official function was to pray for the peace and prosperity of the state and imperial house. This kind of Buddhism had little to offer to the illiterate and uneducated masses and led to the growth of people's priests who were not ordained and had no formal Buddhist training. Their practice was a combination of Buddhist and Taoist elements and the incorporation of shamanistic features of indigenous practices. Some of these figures became immensely popular and were a source of criticism towards the sophisticated academic and bureaucratic Buddhism of the capital. Tangmi The late Nara period saw the introduction of Tangmi esoteric Buddhism, Japanese Mikio to Japan from China by Kakai and Seicho, who founded Shingon Buddhism and the Tendai school, respectively. Topic: <laughs> Heian period 794 to 1185. During the Heian period, the capital was shifted from Nara to Kyoto. Monasteries became centers of powers, even establishing armies of Sohei, warrior monks, Shinto and Buddhism became the dominant religions, maintaining a balance until the Meiji Restoration. <laughs> Kamakura period The Kamakura period was a period of crisis in which the control of the country moved from the imperial aristocracy to the samurai. In 1185 the Kamakura Sogonate was established at Kamakura, this period saw the introduction of the two schools that had perhaps the greatest impact on the country, the schools of Pure Land Buddhism, promulgated by evangelists such as Genshin and articulated by monks such as Honen, which emphasize salvation through faith in Amitabha and remain the largest Buddhist sect in Japan and throughout Asia, and Zen, promulgated by monks such as Isai and Dogen, which emphasize liberation through the insight of meditation, which were equally rapidly adopted by the upper classes and had a profound impact on the culture of Japan. Additionally, it was during the Kamakura period that the influential monk Nichiren began teaching devotion to the Lotus Sutra. Eventually, his disciples formed their own school of Nichiren Buddhism, which includes various sects that have their own interpretations of Nichiren's teachings. Nichiren Buddhism established the foundation of Japanese Buddhism in the 13th century. The school is known for its socio-political activism and looks to reform society through faith. Topic: <inaudible> Muromachi period or Ashikaga 1336-1573. In the Muromachi period, Zen, particularly the Rinzai school, obtained the help of the Ashikaga shogunate and the Emperor of Japan and accomplished considerable development. Topic: Azuki Mamoyama period (1573–1600) and Edo period or Tokugawa (1600–1868). After the Sengoku period of war, Japan was reunited in the Azuki Mamoyama period. This decreased the power of Buddhism, which had become a strong political and military force in Japan. Neo-Confucianism and Shinto gained influence at the expense of Buddhism, which came under strict state control. Japan closed itself off to the rest of the world. The only traders to be allowed were Dutchmen admitted to the island of Dejima, new doctrines and methods were not to be introduced, nor were new temples and schools. The only exception was the Obaku lineage, which was introduced in the 17th century during the Edo period by Ingen, a Chinese monk. Ingen had been a member of the Linji school, the Chinese equivalent of Rinzai, which had developed separately from the Japanese branch for hundreds of years. Thus, when Ingen journeyed to Japan following the fall of the Ming dynasty to the Manchu people, his teachings were seen as a separate school. The Obaku school was named after Mount Wangbo Chinese, Huangbo Shan Pinyin, Wangbo Shan, Japanese pronunciation, Obaku San, which had been Ingen's home in China. Also notable during the period was the publication of an exceptionally high-quality reprint of the Ming-era Tripitaka by Tetsugen Doko, a renowned master of the Obaku school. 
Topic: <laughs> Meiji Restoration 1868 to 1912. With the Meiji Restoration in 1868, the new government adopted a strong anti-Buddhist attitude, and a movement to eradicate Buddhism and bring Shinto to ascendancy arose throughout the country due to the strong connections of Buddhism to the shoguns. During the Meiji period 1868 after a coup in 1868, Japan abandoned its feudal system and opened up to Western modernism. Shinto became the state religion. Within the Buddhist establishment the Western world was seen as a threat as well as a challenge to stand up to. Buddhist institutions had a simple choice, adapt or perish. Rinzai and Soto Zen chose to adapt, trying to modernize Zen in accord with Western insights, while simultaneously maintaining a Japanese identity. Other schools, and Buddhism in general, simply saw their influence wane. The Edict of April 1872 ended the status of the Buddhist precepts as state law and allowed monks to marry and to eat meat. This «codification of a secularized lifestyle for the monk coupled with the revival of the emperor system and development of state Shinto were fundamental in desacralizing Buddhism and pushing it to the margins of society». Japanese imperialism 1931 Japanese identity was being articulated in Nihon Jinran, the "...Japanese uniqueness theory". A broad range of subjects was taken as typical of Japanese culture. D. T. Suzuki contributed to the Nihon Jinran by taking Zen as the distinctive token of Asian spirituality, showing its unique character in the Japanese culture. Nichirenism was one particular expression of Japanese Buddhist nationalism. During World War II, almost all Buddhists' temples strongly supported Japan's militarization. In contrast, a few individuals such as Ichikawa Haku, and Jiro Senoa were targeted, and the Soka Kyoiku Gakai, a Nichiren lay believers organization, was ultimately banned by military authorities. During the 1940s, Leaders of both Hanman Hakushu and Saka Gakkai were imprisoned for their defiance of wartime government religious policy, which mandated display of reverence for state Shinto. Post World War II, there was a high demand for Buddhist priests who glorified fallen soldiers and gave funerals and posthumous names, causing a strong revival. However, due to secularization and the growth of materialism, Buddhism and religion in general continued to decline. Topic: Post-war, 1945 present. Japan has seen a growth in post-war movements of lay believers of Buddhism and a decline in traditional Buddhism in the 20th century, with roughly 100 Buddhist organizations disappearing every year. As of 2008, approximately 34% of the Japanese identify as Buddhists. And the number has been growing since the 1980s, as Buddhists were 27% in 1984. Still, around 90% of Japanese funerals are conducted according to Buddhist rites. In 1963, Tamamuro Taijo coined the term funeral Buddhism that came to be used to describe traditional Buddhism in Japan as the religion engaged in funerary rites and removed from the spiritual needs of people. Contrary to the ritualistic practice of traditional Buddhism, a revived modern form of Nichiren Buddhism led by lay believers Soka Gakkai. Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 grew rapidly in the chaos of post-war Japan from about 3,000 members in 1951 to over 8 million members in 2000, and has established schools, colleges and a university, as well as cultural institutions. A study about the reason for the growth in lay believers and increased engagement in society attributes the cause to Nichiren teachings of social responsibility. In the tradition of Nichiren Buddhism, however, we find the Lotus Sutra linked to a view of social responsibility that is distinctive. According to an academic study, lay believers of Buddhism offer an alternative view of Japan where their form of Buddhism would form the religious foundation of a peaceful and psychologically and materially enriched society." <laughs> <laughs> Japanese Buddhist schools 
East Asian Buddhism is very diverse in its teachings and monastic practices, and Japanese Buddhism, in particular, represents almost every strand of Buddhist teachings and practices. However, in comparison to Chinese or Korean Buddhist schools that are generally more united and less sectarian in their groupings, Buddhist denominations in Japan have developed into independent sects with autonomous organizations that have differing emphases on the doctrine and separate lay followings. Authors, Kawananami, Partridge, and Woodhead page 82. In the post Meiji, pre World War II period, there were officially 13 schools and 56 branches ya, shi san zong wu shi lu pai of traditional Buddhism, i.e., those not established in modern times. The official schools included three from the Nara period, two from the Heian period, Tendai and Shingon, four Pure Land schools, three Zen schools, Rinze, Soto and, Obaku, and Nichiren. During the war, this was halved to 28 branches, but the law enforcing this was repealed following the end of the war, allowing former branches to return. Further, since then, many groups have split off from existing branches. The six Nara schools Jōjitsu 625, introduced into Japan the Tattvasiddhi school, Shang Shi Zong Jōjitsu Shu, formerly known as the Asterisk Satyasiddhi, is considered to be an offshoot of the Bahusrutiya, an Indian Sautrantika school of Nikaya Buddhism. However, the Tattvasiddhi's position was also close to that of the Stavira Nikaya. They were distinguished by a rejection of Abhidharma as not being the words of the Buddha. It was introduced to Japan as Jōjitsu in 625 by the monk Ekwin of Goryeo. In Japan, it was classified as one of the three approaches of East Asian Madhyamaka instead of a separate lineage. East Asian Madhyamaka, San Lun Zong Sanran Shu was one of the six Nara sects, Nan Do Lu Zong Nanto Roku Shu. Haso 654, Dosho introduces East Asian Yogacara, Tha Shang Zong Haso. Yogacara is based on an early Indian philosophy by masters such as Vasubandhu. Practices of this lineage are also known as, "...consciousness only", since they teach that all phenomena are phenomena of the mind. The East Asian Yogacara school of Buddhism was founded by Zanzang, Zanzang J.P. Zhenzhou in China c. 630 and introduced to Japan in 654 by Dosho, who had traveled to China to study under him. The discourse on the theory of consciousness only, Shang Wai Shi Lun Joy Wishiki Ran, is an important text for the Hasso school. Topic <laughs> Sanran. This school was transmitted to Japan in the seventh century. Literally, three discourse school, a Madhyamaka school which developed in China based on two discourses by Nagarjuna and one by Aryadeva. Madhyamaka is one of the two most important Mahayana philosophies, and re-emphasizes the original Buddhist teachings that phenomena are neither truly existent or absolutely non-existent, but are characterized by impermanence and insubstantiality. <laughs> Kegan 736, Bodhisena introduces the Kegan or school to Japan. The Kegan school was founded by Dushan, Dushun Dojin c. 600 and was introduced to Japan by the Indian monk Bodhisena in 736. The Avatamsaka Sutra is the central text for the Kegan school. The Shinyaku Kegankyo Angishaki is an early Japanese annotation of this sutra. Rishu 753, Jinzhen Jin introduces the Rishu Ritsu or Vinaya school to Japan. Founded by Daoshan, Dao Zan J.P. Dosan, China, c. 650 First introduction to Japan, Jinzhen, 753. The Ritsu school specialized in the Vinaya the monastic rules in the Tripitaka. They used the Dharmagupta version of the Vinaya which is known in Japanese as Shibunritsu, See Fenlu topic. Kusha Shu The Kusha Shu was one of the six schools of Buddhism introduced to Japan during the Asuka and Nara periods. 
Along with the Tattvasiddhi school and the Rishu, it is a school of Nikaya Buddhism, which is sometimes derisively known to Mahayana Buddhism as the Hinayana. A Sarvastivada school, Kusha Shu focused on Abhidharma analysis based on the commentary on the Abhidharmakasabhasya by the 4th century Gandharan philosopher Vasubandhu. The school takes its name from that authoritative text. Esoteric schools Tendai 807, Seicho introduces the Tendai school to Japan. Known as Tiantai in China, the Tendai school was founded by Zhiyi, Zhiyi J.P. Chiga in China, c. 550. In 804 Seicho, Zui Sheng traveled to China to study at the Tiantai teachings, at Mount Tiantai. However, before his return he also studied, and was initiated into, the practice of the Vajrayana, with emphasis on the Mahavarokana Sutra. The primary text of Tiantai is Lotus Sutra but when Seicho established his school in Japan he incorporated the study and practice of Vajrayana as well. Although the studies of the Lotus Sutra and Mahayana Nirvana Sutra were also very vital to the schools as well. These schools developed in the Middle Ages and were influenced by the Tiantai, Chinese schools of the 6th century. <inaudible> Shingon Buddhism 816, Kakai founds Shingon Buddhism, Zhen Yan Zong Shingon Shu. One of the major schools of Buddhism in Japan today and one of the few surviving Vajrayana lineages in East Asia, it originally spread from India to China through traveling monks such as Varabodhi and Amogavajra. Known in Chinese as the Tangmi, these esoteric teachings would flourish in Japan under the auspices of a Buddhist monk named Kakai, Kong Hai who traveled to Tang China in 804 as part of the same expedition as Seicho. In the capital he studied Tangmi and Sanskrit and received initiation from Huiguo. On returning to Japan, Kakai eventually managed to establish Shingon as a school in its own right. Kakai received two lineages of teaching one based on the Mahavarokana Tantra, Da Ri Jing Dainichikyo, and the other based on the Varasekara Sutra, Jin Gang Ding Jing Kongo Chokyo. The word, Shingon, is the Japanese pronunciation of Genyan, true words", which in turn is the Chinese translation of the Sanskrit word, mantra. Topic. Kamakura Buddhism Topic. Amida Pure Land schools 1175, Honan introduces Pure Land Buddhism to Japan. Topic. Jodo Shu Jodo Shu was founded by Honan, Faran 1175 Japanese name, Jing Pure Land. Major influences: Chinese Jingtu Zong, Jingtu's Pure Land School, Tendai Doctrine, Nianfo Primary text: Longer Sukhavadivyuha Sutra, Muryoju Kyo Wu Liang Shou Jing. Topic: Jodo Shinshu. Jodo Shinshu was founded by Shinran, Chinluan 1224. Japanese name: Jingtu, True Pure Land. Major influences: Jodo Shu, Tendai Doctrine: Nembutsu no Shinjin, Nianfo of True and Trusting. That is saying Nianfo is a declaration of faith in Amida's salvation plan for the individual rather than a plan for salvation. Primary text: Longer Sukhavadivyuha Sutra, Ryoju Kyo Wu Liang Shou Jing. Topic: Ji Shu. Ji Shu was founded by Ipan, Yibian 1270. Japanese name, Shi Zong or Shi Zhang. Time. Major influences, Jodo Shu. Doctrine, Nembutsu. Primary text. Topic. Yuzu Nembutsu School. The Yuzu Nembutsu School was founded by Ryonin, Liang Ren 1117. Japanese name. Rong Tong Nian Fo Doctrine, Sokushitsu Ojo Suji Wang Sheng Primary Text, Avatamsaka Sutra Kegen Kyo Wa Yan Jing Lotus Sutra Ha Kyo Fa Wa Jing 
Topic: Zen schools. Several variants of Zen's practice and experiential wisdom were separately brought to Japan. Note that Zen influences are identifiable earlier in Japanese Buddhism, especially cross-fertilization with Hasso and Kegon, but the independent schools were formed quite late. <laughs> Rinzai 1191, Isai introduces the Rinzai school to Japan. Founder, Lin Ji Yixuan, Lin Ji Yi Zan China, c. 850 Chinese name, Lin Ji School, Lin Ji Zong named after founder First introduction to Japan, Isai, Rongxi 1191 Major influences, East Asian Yogacara, Kegon Doctrine, Zazen, Zuoga sitting meditation, especially Koan, Gong public matter, practice Primary texts, Transcendental Wisdom Sutras aka Prashnaparamita, Ban Ruo Bo Luo Mi Jing Incl. Heart Sutra <laughs> Soto 1227, Dogen introduces the Soto Kaodong school to Japan. Founders, Kaoshan, Sao Shan J.P. Sozen and Dongshan Langji, Dongshan J.P. Tosin, China, C. 850 Chinese name, Kaodong, Sao Dong named after its founders First introduction to Japan, Dogen, Daoyuan 1227 Major influences, Tendai, East Asian Yogacara, Kegon Doctrine, Zazen, Zuota sitting meditation, especially Shikantaza Primary texts, Transcendental Wisdom Sutras aka Prashnaparamita, Ban Ruo Bo Luo Mi Jing Incl. Heart Sutra Topic <inaudible> Obaku School 1654 Ingen introduces the Obaku Wangbo school to Japan Founder Ingen Yin Yuan Japan 1654 Japanese name Wangbo Huangbo named for the mountain where the founder had lived in China Major influences Rinzai school Doctrine Kyozen Ichi Jing Chan Yi Unity of Sutras and Zen. Primary texts: Transcendental Wisdom Sutras, aka Prashnaparamita, Ban Ruo Bo Luo Mi Jing Incl. Heart Sutra. Topic: <laughs> Fuk Shu. The Fuk Shu was founded by Pahua. Puwa first introduction to Japan: Shinchen Kakushin, Shin De Jue Shin, 1254. Major influences, Rinzai School Abolished, 1871 Nichiren Buddhism 1253, Nichiren, Rilin, Sun Lotus, expounds his teachings. Nichiren Buddhism split into several denominations after the death of Nichiren in 1282. The Nichiren Fuju Fuse Ha sub sect of Nichiren Buddhism was abolished in 1669 and legalized again in 1876. Today's Nichiren Buddhism is represented by traditional oriented schools such as Hanman Butsoryu Shu, Nichiren Shu, and Nichiren Shosha, and more recent movements like the Soka Gakkai, Risho Kosei Kai, Ryukai, and Nipponzen Myohoji Daisanga. See Nichiren Buddhism for a more complete list. Major influences Tendai Primary texts, Lotus Sutra, Miao Fa Lien Hua Jing Miyoho Renge Kyo, a brief. Fa Hua Jing Ha Kyo, treatises and letters by Nichiren. Mantra, Nam Yu Miyoho Renge Kyo Nan Wu Miao Fa Lien Hua Jing topic. Cultural influence Japanese culture maintained an uneasy relation to Buddhist culture. While the Chinese culture was admired, Buddhism was also regarded as a strange influence. Topic: <inaudible> Societal influence. During the Kamakura (1185 to 1333) and Muromachi (1336 Buddhism or the Buddhist institutions had a great influence on Japanese society. Buddhist institutions were used by the shogunate to control the country. 
During the Edo (1600–1868), this power was constricted, to be followed by persecutions at the beginning of the Meiji Restoration (1868–1912). Buddhist temples played a major administrative role during the Edo period, through the Danka or Terauk system. In this, Japanese citizens were required to register at their local Buddhist temples and obtain a certification terauk, which became necessary to function in society. At first, this system was put into place to suppress Christianity, but over time it took on the larger role of census and population control. Artistic influence. In Japan, Buddhist art started to develop as the country converted to Buddhism in 548. Some tiles from the Asuka period shown above, the first period following the conversion of the country to Buddhism, display a strikingly classical style, with ample Hellenistic dress and realistically rendered body shape characteristic of Greco-Buddhist art. Buddhist art became extremely varied in its expression. Many elements of Greco-Buddhist art remain to this day however, such as the Hercules inspiration behind the Neo-Guardian deities in front of Japanese Buddhist temples, or representations of the Buddha reminiscent of Greek art such as the Buddha in Kamakura. <laughs> deities Various other Greco-Buddhist artistic influences can be found in the Japanese Buddhist pantheon, the most striking being that of the Japanese wind god Fujin. In consistency with Greek iconography for the wind god Boreas, the Japanese wind god holds above his head with his two hands a draping or wind bag in the same general attitude. The abundance of hair has been kept in the Japanese rendering, as well as exaggerated facial features. Another Buddhist deity, Shukangoshin, one of the wrath filled protector deities of Buddhist temples in Japan, is also an interesting case of transmission of the image of the famous Greek god Heracles to East Asia along the Silk Road. Heracles was used in Greco-Buddhist art to represent Varapani, the protector of the Buddha, and his representation was then used in China and Japan to depict the protector gods of Buddhist temples. <laughs> artistic motifs The artistic inspiration from Greek floral scrolls is found quite literally in the decoration of Japanese roof tiles, one of the only remaining element of wooden architecture throughout centuries. The clearest ones are from the 7th century Nara temple building tiles, some of them exactly depicting vines and grapes. These motifs have evolved towards more symbolic representations, but essentially remain to this day in many Japanese traditional buildings. Temples Soga no Umako built Hokoji, the first temple in Japan, between 588 to 596. It was later renamed as Asuka Dera for Asuka, the name of the capital where it was located. Unlike early Shinto shrines, early Buddhist temples were highly ornamental and strictly symmetrical. The early Heian period 9th -10th century saw an evolution of style based on the Mikkyo sects Tendai and Shingon Buddhism. The Debutsuyo style and the Zenshuyo style emerged in the late 12th or early 13th century. <laughs> Buddhist holidays. Topic. Oban. Oban Although its date and practices vary region to region, the Bon Festival is celebrated primarily in Japan and in communities with large Japanese diaspora communities. It is believed that the spirits of the dead return to earth for three days and visit the family shrines or graves. It is customary to clean the graves and to hold family reunions. Topic. See also Buddhist deities Buddhist modernism Buddhist philosophy History of Buddhism Ichibata Yakushi Kyodan Japanese Buddhist pantheon Keicho Kanjin Nara National Museum Religion in Japan Shinbutsu Shugo Zen at War Notes Topic References Topic Bibliography Topic Further reading 
Asakawa, K., and Henry Cabot Lodge, ed., Japan from the Japanese Government History. Elliot, Sir Charles. Japanese Buddhism. London, Keegan Paul International, 2005. ISBN 0 7103 0967 8. Reprint of the 1935 original edition. Bunyu Nanjio. 1886. A Short History of the Twelve Japanese Buddhist Sects, Tokyo, Bukkyo Sho A Yaku Shupan Sha. Covell, Stephen. 2001. Living Temple Buddhism in Contemporary Japan, The Tendai Sect Today. Comparative Religion Publications. Paper 1. Dissertation, Western Michigan University. Covell, Stephen G. 2006. Japanese Temple Buddhism, Worldliness in a Religion of Renunciation. Univ of Hawaii. ISBN 0824829670. Hori, Mitsutoshi Deprofessionalization of Buddhist Priests in Contemporary Japan. A Socio-Industrial Study of a Religious Profession, Electronic Journal of Contemporary Japanese Studies 6 1, unpaginated Kawanami, Hiroko, Japanese Nationalism and the Universal Dharma, in, Ian Harris ed., Buddhism and Politics in Twentieth Century Asia. London, New York, Continuum, 1999, pp. 105 126. ISBN 978 0 8264 5178 1. Matsunaga, Dagan, Matsunaga, Alicia, Foundation of Japanese Buddhism, Vol. 1, The Aristocratic Age, Los Angeles, Tokyo, Buddhist Books International. ISBN 0 914910 26 4. Matsunaga, Dagan, Matsunaga, Alicia Foundation of Japanese Buddhism, Vol. 2, The Mass Movement Kamakura and Muromachi Periods, Los Angeles, Tokyo, Buddhist Books International, 1996. ISBN 0-914910-28-0 Matsunami, Kodo A Guide to Japanese Buddhism PDF, Tokyo, Japan Buddhist Federation, archived from the original PDF on February 2, 2013.